Amen. At this time, I want to take great pleasure in introducing our superintendent for the district, number five. I've known this gentleman for since I've been in the church 30 years. I've watched him. And one thing I've learned to do, and that is to listen to the leaders. And when you listen to the leaders, it positions you to go further. And I've listened and I've watched. I've seen things happen, I've seen things change. And they just keep on evolving into something. It started off okay, and then it got good. Then it got better. And then it got good. And now it's better. Amen. Only because the man stood for righteousness. Ain't it good to have a righteous leader among you? Amen. I, I'm watching. He's a humble, humble giant of a man. And when I was appointed to work up under him, I took great pleasure. I came not only to just support him, but to push him until he got tired of me. I come to push him until he get higher, until he couldn't go no higher. That's how we ought to do our leaders. We're supposed to support the leader. Am I right about it? And I'm trying to push him all I know how. Because I don't want, because you know what? He's my leader. He's my leader. And I want to I want to be proud of my leader. I, I, I want to say, that's my leader. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody say, that's our leader. Point at it. And that's right. I, I want to be proud to say that that's my leader. If I walk beside him, I want to say, that's my leader. So tonight I take great pleasure in bringing and introducing to some this great, big, humble giant. The one and only superintendent, Richard D. Cheney. But actually, everyone would labor to their feet and put your hands together for our superintendent, Richard Cheney. District number five. God bless you. And while you're clapping your hands, now come on and clap your hands for Jesus. Come on and clap your hands because you got light. For you sit down, look over at somebody and say, I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. So don't you even try. Look at them again and say, with me and Jesus, you got it going on. Come on, tell them and say, with me and Jesus, you got it going on. The Lord bless you, heaven smile on you. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord on today? It's good to be in the house of the Lord on today. And uh, this is our first official fellowship meeting, and we have made history tonight because we're here at Lake Ridge, Lake Ridge Ministries, Church of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. Ask the Lamb. I'm going to introduce him in a minute, but I want to. Just thank God, I'm going to do mine because I'm, I want to have church, continue church, and I want to hear the word of God. And we're about to turn this preacher loose in a minute. And I tell you, he's somebody else. I thank God for our chairman, Chairman Charles Heath. Come on and praise God for Chairman Heath. Second chance, God bless you. God bless you. And he had it right. And Pastor Heath, uh, some of you didn't know. We were a one church district for about eight to 10 years. And Bishop said, just stay there. So I was obedient to my leader. And uh, uh, he put a church with us. And, uh, and then he put another church with us last year with Second Chance. And uh, this year, uh, with relationships with Pastor Heath, I had a chance to meet this wonderful pastor, Eddie Williams. Yeah! Just took a liking to him. And this just on last week, uh, Bishop again made another assignment, and that was with uh, Greater Faith, with Pastor Robin. Amen. Pastor Robin, Sister Robin. I want to thank God for our district missionary, Mother Nettie Brown. Now, she's excited, y'all. She is so excited. She's so happy and excited. And then I also want to thank God for the First Lady of the District. Amen. This is my wife. My wife. 37, almost 38 years. Just so, Anthony. God 
bless the First Lady of this house, First Lady Laverne Williams. And then the First Lady of Greater Faith, Sister Esterine Robbins. Stand up, Esterine, let them see you again, Sister Esterine Robbins. All right! It is now time for the Word of God. It's time to hear what thus said the Lord on tonight. And uh, I have met a wonderful gentleman. I met him some time ago when I was at Second Chance for a Family and Friends Day. And I met him, and I met this wonderful church, and just the spirit of this church. And uh, I took a liking to him right away. And when the opportunity came this year where he wanted to connect uh, with the church and with the jurisdiction, I felt honored. I felt honored that he would want to serve with us. Amen. And so we thank God tonight for the pastor of Lake Ridge Ministry, Church of God in Christ. Church of God in Christ. I'm looking around. We got everything we need. Amen. Everything we need in this district. Amen. Everything we need. And we're gonna we're gonna build it. We're gonna develop it. We're gonna uh, next month. We're gonna come back and talk about it after the message. We'll have a district meeting, and we're gonna have a couple of choir rehearsals so we can get together and get ourselves tuned up for real. And Sister Marissa work with us, and we work with y'all, and we're gonna have something. Else. Right before Pastor Williams come and graces us with the Word of God, we're gonna have Sister Marissa to come and give us a sermonic solo. Yes. Immediately after she finishes ministering to us in song, we're gonna to labor to our feet, receive the angel of this house, the man of God, the messenger of this hour, yes. the pastor Eddie Williams, and we're gonna receive him with a hearty amen as he comes and approaches us for you. Let's say amen to Sister Marissa as she comes at this time. Oh. 
with James Madison Johnson, Superintendent James Madison Johnson, at Church of God in Christ. Now, Lake Ridge, follow me here now. I know you're hearing this Church of God in Christ thing a while, a little bit. You, 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 you hearing Church of God in Christ? What's going on? We at Church of God in Christ? Well, we're going down the highway. And we ain't going by ourselves. We done bumped into some folks. We done run up against some folks. And Mother said it sounds like holiness. And it sounds, hallelujah, what it sound like, hallelujah. And I, 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 I kept hearing a sound, I told Marissa, I said, Marissa, I told the band, what did I say? There was a sound, and I said, I said, there's a sound out there. I said, I'm looking, I'm listening for the sound. And so on the way to here, going down the highway, I heard a sound. <clears throat> a sound so great. A sound so loud. And as I kept watching, I bumped into a man. And this man sounded like me. I said, you going my way? He said, I'm going down the King's Highway. Some help here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Anybody know about this highway? Yeah. It's a highway to heaven. Yeah. And sometimes I know the right direction, but I need somebody to help me point to the way. And because I heard some that there was some distraction, somebody say, Is it that a way? Is it this a way? But when I turned this way, I didn't hear nothing. I said I didn't. It ain't that way. So I turned this way. And I didn't. But when I went this way, hey, there was a sound I heard. And so me and Second Chance went up this road. And we kept on marching. But as we marched, we heard a little louder sound. And the sound got greater. We looked at each other. And all of a sudden, there's a superintendent up the way. There's a leader up there. He already on the way. He already know the way. He's already in front of us. So guess what? We gonna join in. Come on straight, come on Lakers, come on Lakers. Oh, uh, come on second chance. Come on faith community. Come on Greater Tabernacle. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. So we got a leader now. We got a leader now. So y'all gonna hear me talk about this great man quite a bit. So those that follow me, I know I got some folks here that got other churches, but you, as you follow me, we following the leader. Amen. Say God bless. Superintendent. Amen. Turn your Bibles with me, please. Turn your Bibles with me to Amen. The book of Numbers, chapter 21, and verse 21. And before I get started, I'd like to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for this great gathering of your people. We thank you, Lord, for the people of God tonight, Father God. We thank you for the leaders that's here today, Father God. Thank you for Superintendent Chase, Father God. We thank you for Pastor Charles Heath today, Father God. 
We thank you for Pastor Robbins, Father God. Father God, we thank you for every elder and every minister. We thank you for the mothers today, Father God, the first ladies. We thank you for the saints of the high most God. We thank you for the instruments that play, the strings, the drums. We thank you, Lord, for the sound of worship. Lord, we are worshiping people. We love to worship. We love to worship. We love to sing your songs, Father God, in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. <laughs> Holy Spirit, we welcome you here with our outstretched hands. Father God, if we stretch our hands like palm branches, Father God, we wave them before you. As you look from the balconies of heaven, Father God, I hear the throne as it makes this sound towards the edge of the balcony and it looks down and you see your people. Lord, we're in love with you. Lord, today, Father God, I ask today, Father God, that you shine upon this gathering tonight, Father God, of these leaders tonight, Father God. Lord, mend us together. Unify us as one. For we're going somewhere. We're heading down the highway. Father God, we're reaching out towards you. Guide us. Direct us. Keep us today, Father God. Keep us strong. Strengthen us, Father God, where we're weak. Father God, bind us together in the name of Jesus, Father God, by the word of God, by your truths and your promises, Father God. Lord, we just thank you tonight. Father God, we ask you tonight, Father God, Lord, bless those, Lord. Deliver those tonight. Heal those tonight, Father God. Send a word of encouragement tonight. Or go into the highway and the byways. Go into the hospital rooms. Go into the treatment facilities, Father. Go into the prisons, Father God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Postcards, Father God. Emails, Father God. Texts, Father God. Whatever way of communication. God, you can do it. You can do it. Lord, use us tonight, Father God. Touch me in a special way. Lord, use me, Father God. I empty myself before you tonight. Fill me with your word tonight, Father God. Help this your servant. I humble myself before you, Father God, that thou might use me, Father God. Tell me, show me, oh God, what to say, when to say it, how to say it. Oh God, that it might be a help to someone, Father God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Tonight, Father God, we ask you these things that I may decrease that thou might increase and be used of you tonight in Jesus name amen amen and amen praise the Lord you may be seated the Bible says in Numbers 21 21 it says then Israel sent messengers to the king of the Amorites saying let me pass through your land. We will not turn aside into the fields of the vineyards. We will not drink your water from the wells. We will go by. We will go by the king's highway until we have passed through your territory. I also want you to turn with me to Isaiah. 35 and 8. A highway shall be there and a road and it shall be called the highway of holiness. I want to talk about let me pass. I won't cause you no trouble and just let me pass by. Don't hold me up because I'm just trying to get somewhere. I just need to get to the King's Highway. I talked about that. This highway is a holy highway, it said. It's a road. It's a destination. It's a place that would take me right there. And along the way, the, the kings that were in the way of going to the highway... He didn't want them to pass by because he was afraid of them. 
So he, he, he looked at them and he said, no, you can't pass that. Well, you know what happened. Yeah. Israel went anyway. Yeah. And he destroyed, and Israel destroyed them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, you can't hold back God's people. No, you can't hold back God's people. But see, God got a promise for you. And he's a, he's a, I can God. I can do all things through Christ that what? Strengthens me. Is anything too hard for God? Nothing's too hard for God. See, I come to encourage you tonight that God said he can do it. No matter what's in your way, God can do it. Whether you got depression, oppression, whether you got enemies, whether you got addictions, no matter what you got, you might have a troubled a, 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 a spouse. But God can do it. Because there's a, there's a promise that God got out there for you. And God is a God that cannot lie. That he's not a man that he would have to what? Repent. Whatever God said he would do, surely he would do it. But see, you got some people that will attach themselves to you sometimes. That might hold you back. But see, on the way to the King's Highway, you had, the Israel had a big bunch. They had about two to three million people. And two to three million people. But along the way, some folks attached themselves to them. But they were lame and they were weak. And so the enemy tried to come up behind them and he come to destroy those that linger behind. So that's why you got to keep up with the leader. You got to keep up with the leader. You can't linger behind. See, because if you linger behind, they'll ambush you. They'll pick you off a little at a time so you don't have time to murmur and complain. So you got to get right into pack, right into the crowd because you're going somewhere. You see, see, they want to curse you, but you can't curse what God is blessed. See, you're looking for an easy way. But I told you that this highway is not an easy way, but it's a straight way. You can't take no shortcuts. See, a lot of us want to take some shortcuts. A lot of us want to hear a, a weak word. Give me a word that I can handle, that I can digest, that will go down easy. But this word don't go down that easy. See, this is the word here that's going to be good for you. See, it's going to be good for you. But sometimes it's hard to take in. The Bible said that Jesus was a stumbling stone that was placed before the people. Disobedient people. But see, when you're going down the highway, you ain't got time. You ain't got time to linger behind. You ain't got time to ask no questions. You got to keep up with the leader. The leader ain't got time because he got some other general. He got some other lieutenants behind you. Come on, keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. See, he ain't got time to keep looking back. That's why you got to have strong leaders. You got to have tr strong folk that's going to keep you bound together. Now, see... Along the way of this highway, I told you this highway is smeared in blood. Amen. This highway costs you something. All right. All right. A lot of folks have traveled down this highway and, and didn't make it. Yeah. A lot of folks traveled down this highway and turned back. Because yeah. it got too tough. Yeah. It turned back because the road wasn't as smooth yeah. As that broad road. See that broad road. That broad road give you plenty of space. But that narrow road keep you tight. Keep the boundaries tight. See, it keep the boundaries tight. See, you gotta have those boundaries I talked about last week. Boundaries. See, because without the boundaries, you'll go apart. Oh, come on now. So we're talking about going somewhere with a leader. And so he's taking a lot of folk with him. And so he got to have some obedient folk. Yes. See, so
So God ain't got time to keep on sending, keep on, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. So he's got a leader here. He's got a leader here to show us which way to go. He's got a leader to show us which way to go. See, and the leader already has gotten a sign from God, a commission from God. And along the way, we picking up some folk, right? He said, go into the highways and go into the byways. And he said, come on and compel them to come. Go into the hedges and get them because the house ain't full. The road ain't full yet. The road ain't full yet. There's some more room for, for some more folk. Come on, somebody. Come on, help me now. Come on, help me now. My, my help is coming. See, this road, it can hold a lot of folk. And that's why we have to encourage you to keep coming. See, as they hear the sound, you know, of the army of the Lord, they hear the saints going towards a place, a direction to the promised land. There's a promise. There's a promise that God put out there for you. Yes, it is. So let's let's talk about this a little bit. The highway shall be there, a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others who ever walk the road, although a fool shall not go astray. No lion shall be there. It won't be nobody roaring in your face. There won't be any ravishing beast to go up or on it. It won't be somebody, I told you, bullying you. We're going to be all in one accord. We heading to the same place. We going down the King's Highway, a place of holiness. Without holiness, you shall not see God. You will not see the Lord. So we got to be together. We got to be together, but we got to trust God. We got to trust the Lord. We got to trust God that he will put us in the hands of a good leader. A good leader. And I believe God will put us in the hands of a good man. A good leader. See, because how can he lead us if he don't know the way? Come on, somebody. He said he stayed in a district by himself because he had a lonely outpost. And, he, and, and, and his leader told him, just stay there because somebody coming down that road. Somebody coming down that way. If they go down that way, you need to be there. You need to be there. And he stood there. And he heard some noise. He heard some shots. He heard some footsteps coming down. He heard some head claps. He heard some sing. Hallelujah. He got encouraged. Hallelujah. And then the crowd showed up. Hallelujah. And if he wasn't there, we would keep on going. And not maybe get to where we would need to get to. See, so God always leaves a witness. Gotta have somebody to show you the way. Hallelujah. See, when the Lord had his disciples, he told them, he said, now I done taught you this thing. I done taught you and showed you this, and I'm not gonna be with you all the time. But 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 what I need you to do, I need you to make some like kind. I need you to go out and make some more what disciples. Well, how can I make some disciples unless I make some noise? I need to make a joyful noise. I need to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That way they'll know I'm coming. They'll know I'm here. The enemy will run back a little way and other folks will come here. What, what's the sound like? What's going on? But see, and when you go, you ain't grab some folk. See, the trouble with us is we're afraid of folk. We're afraid of people who are different. We're afraid of people. They say over at Church of God in Christ, they wear their dresses way down here. They don't wear no lipstick and makeup. See, and so the folks from the street, say, say street. 
from the street, from the vacant house, the parking lot, but 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 the bridge, the hedges. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come oh, yeah. from the street, and when they meet with the sanctified folk, they want what they want. They hear the sound. But somehow they don't seem like they welcome. But we got a leader. We got a man who already got a plan. He already to talk to the Lord. And he already to made the way. He made some room on the highway. On that highway. There's plenty of room. There's room for me. And there's room for you. There's room for you and you and you. out of those motel rooms, I'll tell the story. And I got some, when I was coming out, they was coming out. And we butted up. We did what we wanted to do. But somewhere in the journey, we met up again. And I had caught on to this thing called holiness. Oh yeah. And they wanted to say, you done changed. You done changed. Uh, you're walking different. Uh, oh, you're saying some different things. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told them I got a new way of walking. I got a new way of talking. Uh, I got a new way of thinking. Uh, I got a new way of thinking. Hallelujah. I'm going down this highway. I'm going a new way. Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Now they're in the pews with me. And now they took them to this thing called holiness. And I met some leaders along the way. I met a brother Robinson, uh, or Robbins, uh, and I met a leader, uh, uh, Superintendent Cheney, and some of his fellas. Oh, I got a friend over here, and I got some friends over there. Oh, we might have been with some heroin. We might have had some crack cocaine. Oh, somebody don't leave me now. Don't leave me now. Oh, he's talking about something that I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, but we don't do that no more. We don't do that no more. Mama, we cleaned up. We done straight back. Oh, because we can't get on that highway if we not clean. We can't get on that highway. If we ain't change our way, we gotta change our mind. We gotta be renewed, restored, and made over. We got to be made new. Hallelujah. Glory. Yeah. So, I got my bunch. Jesus said, go into the highway. But what I'm gonna find on the highway? I got a guy with a sign saying work for money. Got a side guy with a sign saying I'll work for money, bless you. Oh, I got a, somebody over here saying just make a stop over here. I got some goods for you. It don't cost you much. Oh, but that girl didn't know. I said that girl didn't know who she was talking to. Oh, she didn't know I was on my way down the King's Highway. Won't you come and talk me a while? Tell me your story and I'll tell you mine. And as we go down the highway, I'll help you change your mind. Come on, somebody. Mother, look after these while I go. 
go get some more. I gotta go. But the Lord have compelled me oh, to go into the highways and the byways and the hedges. And I found someone in the hedges. That was his home. He was in a box. He was in a box. And when I kicked the box, he came out. Yeah. And he said, which way you going? I said, I'm going to a place. He said, well, let me pack my box up and go with you. Pack my box up. I said, no, leave your box. You don't need your box. Because there's a mansion already prepared for you. They tell me the foundations are built with sapphires and diamonds and rubies. Well, they tell me well, they don't need no light because Christ is the light. They don't need a sun because we got a sun already. Oh, that's all we in now. So you can come down with me because I'm going down the King's Highway. to where I need to be. I look like you. You look like me. We all look the same. I started out one way, but on the way, there were some things working on the inside. Something on the inside was working on the outside. The sister skirts came down. The brother's pants got strung up on him, up on him. Oh yeah. Wasn't no more cussing on the road. Wasn't no more lying. I didn't want your woman and you didn't want mine. Oh come on somebody. Oh yeah. I'm talking about church folk y'all. like our elder brother. The closer we get down that highway, the sun shine on us. Not the SUE, but the SOE. It shine on us. And we begin to change. We begin to take on his content. We begin to love more. To understand more. Not to worry about our indifferences. Not to worry about what church you belong to, what church you belong to. No, no, no. All we know, we belong to the one. The Elohim, the El Shaddai, the Yeshua, the only living God. Hallelujah. The blood was already prepared. There was a blood trail that led us down this highway. There was the blood of martyrs. There was the blood of the missionaries. There was the blood of the preachers. But there was the main blood, the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb. Oh, that was shed for me and you. Shed for all our sins. All the sins that we commit and that we're going to commit. This God got to the end of the highway. We were so glad to get there. He prepared and opened up the gates for us. Went into the kingdom. Didn't worry about where mama was. Knew she was somewhere. Ain't worry about grandpa. Wasn't worry about even worry about my wife. All I want to do is sit in his room. All I want to do is find where he is. And he told me the minute I got there, I would see him. 
So I'm encouraging you tonight. We're following a man of God. We're following one another. But we got to have a leader. I said we got to have a leader. We got some pastors here. And I'm so glad to be counted among the many. District number five, I believe that we're going to have a many of them. Oh, yeah. See, Lakers, you got to put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I can't keep you all night. But one thing I know is that if you follow the Holy Ghost, if you follow the Holy Ghost, you won't be led wrong. He'll take you straight to the throne. He'll straight take you straight down. Straight down. So if there's anybody here tonight that don't know the way, is anybody here tonight, tonight, that that right now needs to be encouraged maybe. Somebody here need healing. Somebody here just need to be, to be encouraged tonight, to be delivered tonight, to be put on the right way. The, the altar is open to you right here tonight. You can come, you can come. Won't you come? Won't you come? Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. This is a hard bunch to do. This is a hard bunch. But y'all follow me as I follow Christ. So you gotta learn how to shout. You gotta learn how to clap your head. You gotta learn how to sing. You gotta learn how to rejoice. If there's somebody here tonight, if there's somebody here tonight that don't know Jesus, if there's somebody here tonight that might be in a broken relationship, if there's somebody here tonight that might be still strung out, somebody tonight that still might be thinking about where I can get the next one from, if there's somebody here tonight that don't know if you want to stay to tomorrow, oh yeah, come, won't you come? If there's somebody here tonight that got voices and speaking to an enemy and tell them to commit suicide, won't you come? God loves you. God loves you. Lift your hands. God loves you.